In this video, I'm going to replace the diaphragms on this diaphragm type carburetor. Uh, it's on an Echo SRM230 trimmer. Um, it's, it's a Zama carburetor. Before I ever work on a piece of equipment, I always clean it. Uh, I use general purpose cleaner to clean the grease off this uh, carburetor and the surrounding area. Uh, I did spray it with some mild brake cleaner um, for those hard to clean areas. Uh, I almost never use carburetor cleaner on these because it's just too strong. First thing you want to do is remove the air filter cover, unscrew the wing nut. Um, I always make sure that the choke is closed so that nothing falls through the carburetor. And remove the two mounting screws. This mounts the carburetor to the intake manifold. Remove this piece. Remove this gasket. Next thing you want to do is you want to remove this uh, throttle uh, piece. It uh, connects to the throttle body. Or not the throttle body, but the throttle valve. <coughs> and there's four, there's four screws holding this on. There's three on top and there's one on the side, which is going to be hard to get with this camera in the way. But... Take that screw out for, oh, one important thing before you start doing that is um, make sure you th close off the intake so that nothing falls into the engine. And remove that screw. These screws are kind of hard to get to because this throttle's in the way, but uh, this throttle cable and this uh, uh, throttle valve. Uh, but while the, th the throttle isn't open, you can remove this screw. And then you can press on the throttle, kind of open it up, and remove this screw. And you can get the last one. And then pull this up and away. You can move that out of the way. Next thing you want to do is remove the hoses. Um, just uh, carefully pry the hose up, just free it from where it's connected and then pull it off. Be careful not to break anything. And the carburetor is free. This is my uh, new parts for the, from the rebuild kit. This is my metering, uh, metering gasket um, diaphragm and uh, the other parts here. I like to lay all this stuff out before I start. This is the gaskets for the, um, uh, the fuel pump on the carburetor. Um, this is a rebuild kit. Um, if you can read that, it's RB-107. Okay, this is the, uh, um, this is the fuel pump side with the, you know, they got the primer bulb. And this is the metering side of the carburetor. So we'll start by disassembling this. Move the screws. And 
and I lay everything out um, in order. This is my top because this is oriented to you know where I'm working. This is um, remove this. There's my gasket and diaphragm. It's kind of kind of brittle. Uh -huh. um, these things right here are uh, they're check valves. This is why I never spray uh, these diaphragm carburetors with um, a carb cleaner. One thing is because of these check valves and and because the, the all these plastic pieces. Um, carburetor cleaner is too strong. Um, I'm going to clean this carburetor using uh, an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner um, and so, uh, you know a, a cleaning solution and water. And uh, I found that that's the best way to clean these. Um, I'm going to lay that down in order, and so I know how to reassemble this stuff. Now I'm going to start on the. Um, the metering section. Move the screws. Remove the diaphragm and gasket. that goes on is gasket first and then diaphragm and then there's one other thing move this needle and arm move the spring move the screw Also on the other side, um, there's a screen, an inlet screen, on the fuel pump side that you can you can remove and replace it with a new one. I'll do that right now. Just take a hook and uh, gently pull it out. Now I'm ready to put this in a um, in my ultrasonic cleaner and uh, and uh, and then clean it out. Hopefully it cleans out. It's not too dirty. I mean, it's not varnished or anything, so I'm not real concerned about it. But it's not. A, it's kind of an easy easy cleanup job. This is my uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Um, got it at Harbor Freight. It was like 80 bucks. Um, I'm gonna clean this for about. Uh, let's see. Um, for about 16 minutes. Um, it's got a heat function, so it heats up the, the cleaning solution. It's my main main body of my carburetor. I'm going to put that in there. And the plastic piece with the uh, check valves for the, um, uh, the primer bulb. Um, I'm going to put that in there. This won't hurt plastic. That's a great thing, and it's not toxic. So um, it, it's really great for, um, you know, these mild uh, uh, cleaning jobs. Uh, I mean, if the carburetor is really dirty, if it's been set for like 10 years and it's getting you caked on varnish, you might have a problem. You might need to, uh, probably better just replace the carburetor. But for these small jobs like this, this thing is great. And uh, if you got a stuck check valve, um, this will sometimes free these, free them up so they'll work properly. Um, so, I mean, it's 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 a good good way to clean these carburetors. And anyway, I'm going to set this for 480 seconds, um, and then cycle it a couple of times. So, and then I'll be back.